So in this video, I'm going to show you some ways you can buy US stocks being right here in Australia. We'll look at the pros and cons of each method and I'll show you what I personally use. Let's get into it. Method number one is stake. Now this is the best platform for me currently. I've been using it for a while now and I can mostly say good things about it. And why is that? Because these guys arguably have some of the best product offerings to trade US stocks from Australia right now. The platform kind of looks like Robinhood over in America just by looking at these graphs. You can trade over 3,500 ETFs stocks from some of the best and largest companies over in America. So basically you've got access to all of your EV stocks like Tesla, NEO, Nikola and a few others as well. And then the tech stocks like Amazon, Alphabet, Netflix, Microsoft and so on. Now the thing is other brokers offer these things as well but what's so special about Stake is that everything is commission free. Yes, no commission on trading US stocks. So it doesn't matter if your trade size is $50 or 50K. Now this is a huge advantage over other platforms, but obviously they aren't fee free. They do charge a fee, but we'll get into that later on in just a second. You can put in advanced orders like limit orders and stop orders. So if you wanna put in a stop loss, you can do that as well. And one of the best things is that you can buy fractional shares with this platform. So for example, if Amazon is worth a few thousand dollars and you might not have that much. So you can basically buy a fraction of Amazon and still make the same return. Also, they've got a pretty decent app as well. Plus, they're also giving away a free stock at the moment. So if you sign up using a referral code, let's say that you use your friend's code and then once you guys finish signing up and start to fund your account, you will get a free stock in Nike, GoPro or Dropbox. Now, if you guys want to use my referral code, there's a link in description and you and I can both get a free stock as well. And the best part is that you can keep on giving your referral code to as many people as possible. And as soon as they fund their account like you did, you guys can both benefit from a free stock. Now, I also just want to say that this is not financial advice. We are just talking from a general perspective only. Please do some research as well to make sure that the platform is the right one for you. Now, let's look at the negatives of stake. So although they give you access to stocks and ETFs, there is no options trading available at the moment. So unlike Robinhood over in the US where you can trade options and do some other crazy stuff on the app as well. Now on their website, they also claim to offer sophisticated access to US opportunities which only really applies to sophisticated ETFs that they offer. Not so much when it comes to more advanced things like options. Similarly, you can't trade CFDs on the platform. Now, if you're watching this video and you don't know what a CFD is or what it stands for, then you don't need to worry about what I just said because CFDs are highly risky things to trade as retail investors. And if you're a beginner, you might just want to skip these completely. Now, the other negative thing about stake is that they give you access to the US market only. You can't use their platform to buy shares in companies listed in the UK or Asia, it's solely for the US. However, you can still indirectly diversify yourself into those areas via ETFs. Now at stake, you can buy quite a lot of shares and ETFs, but the things that you can't buy are some of the penny stocks that are listed in the US. And more recently with the whole GameStop fiasco that you would have heard about, and you would have also watched my video on it as well, link in description, stake's overall platform was very, very slow when the whole saga was happening. You couldn't trade stocks on the app and there was just a white screen when you try to place an order. Now, Stake has openly said that they were not restricting trades or anything like that, which I fully believe. And it was only down because of the increased activity, as you guys can imagine, so yeah. Now, Stake makes money off three main ways. When you deposit money and take money out, they charge a flat 0.7% Forex fee and some other fees like this. Number two, through their monthly subscription of $9 per month, which is optional. And also the third method is that they make money off the interest of your unused balance in your accounts. So that's stake. Method number two is self-wealth. Now, I would say that self-wealth is the second best option in this whole list, simply because they operate in a similar fashion to stake. They have a flat Forex fee of 0.6% when you withdraw and deposit money. Plus they also charge a 950 US dollar brokerage fee and that's a flat fee as well. So basically it's like stake, but with brokerage fees at least, that's the way that I see it at the moment. So why would you use self-wealth over stake? Because sometimes they have access to shares and ETFs that stake might not have. So it's good to have a self-wealth account open. Now, if you're only really trading well-known stocks, then you can use any brokerage. You can use stake or self-wealth. It really doesn't matter. But if it's something less popular, then self-wealth might be able to help. In fact, on their website, they are planning to give access to over 7,500 financial instruments, which basically beats stake by nearly double. So self-wealth is more for variety of instruments and shares, 
Plus, they've been offering flat fee trades to Aussies for so many years now, and I use Self Wealth for my Aussie investments at the moment. And by Aussie investment, I mean Aussie shares only. When it comes to ETFs, I mostly use Perla now. Now, with Self Wealth, if you guys want, there's a link in bio where you and I can both get five free trades once you sign up. Now, let's look at the negatives of the Self Wealth platform, which is obviously the brokerage fee of $9.50 per trade that you have to pay, but that is kind of offset by the amount of variety you have on the platform. At the moment, I don't think you can trade options or CFDs, but it seems that CFDs may be added in the future. Their phone app isn't the best at the moment. I would say that it's pretty clunky and it looks a bit outdated. And I don't like the look of it, but it does seem that they will be looking to upgrade their app quite soon as well. So I'm keen to see what it looks like because at the moment, good apps are a must have. Now guys, if you are finding value so far, please leave a like or subscribe, it really helps out. Now moving on to method number three, which is using a bank. Now, ideally speaking, using a big four bank to trade US stocks will be a bit cheaper than just using any bank. Like for example, if you bank with a second tier bank that's not a big four, they will usually charge a lot more fees. Now the benefit of using a big four bank is that your money is accessible and viewable at all times. And it's all in the same spot because usually you can link your internet banking and your share trading account in the same platform plus it also gives convenience because it requires the least amount of effort to open up plus usually if you want to withdraw money for example if you want to withdraw your profits that you've made you won't pay any fees but with self health and stake you pay the forex fee each time you withdraw the money plus the withdrawal fee with stake so you do have a benefit there with the big four banks but of course the drawbacks are the costs because you will pay the high brokerage fee which is anywhere between $14.95 or $19.95 per trade which is very excessive plus on top of that you will be paying a forex fee per trade which all starts to add up. Compare that to stake and self wealth, the forex fee isn't charged per trade, it's only charged when you put money in and put money out of your trading account. So if you're doing frequent trades on the US market, then stake and self wealth is quite cheaper. Now last and final method number four is using an alternative broker like Interactive Brokers, IG.com, CMC, eToro and so on. Now going through all of these would make this video much more excessive and much more long and I feel like it's long enough already so let me give you a quick summary. Interactive Brokers seems to be for someone who is a much more sophisticated investor because you can trade so many things on there like this and their pricing structure is quite hard to understand so for the everyday person you probably want to give this a miss. With IG you can trade US stocks with no commission but they charge a FX fee of 0.7% for every trade which makes it much more expensive than stake in the long run and they have no brokerage as well. With CMC, it's quite similar to IG.com. They charge you no commission for trades. The FX fee is for every trade and it's about 0.6%. Now with eToro, they charge you no commission to trade US stocks, which is quite similar to other platforms that we've discussed. However, there is a deposit fee of 0.5% to 1% and a withdrawal fee of 0.5% as well plus withdrawal fees of $5 each time. Now, personally, I don't really like eToro and I'll explain why in a different video. Now, if you guys want an in-depth look into all of these platforms individually to see if you like the layout and all that stuff, I'll make a video about that as well. But for now, this is it. Self Wealth, Stake and Perla work fine for me and hopefully they work fine for you as well. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. So so basic so basically it's like steak